So this film came out in 2015. Just recently had a Wild Eye release within 2018 or 2019. I did pick this up at Family Video approximately two months ago. The film takes place in San Luco, Italy, which is the southern part of Italy. And we follow a woman and her husband who are going to Italy from America to catch up with their family because her grandfather has died and she has received an inheritance. And meanwhile she's pregnant to all this and finally they arrive and they are trying to find a place to stay. And she runs into some old friends and they allow her to stay with them. And in the process of staying with them she realizes that something's not quite right with everybody around the town. You know, what is going on? Tell me what's happening with the town. Why is everybody acting so hastefully or so scarce, you know? So before we get started, also I want to tell you that the budget on this film was 500,000 euros, which would equal $700,000 in American cash. The budget, I feel, for this film was very well put. In addition to this, also, as they're trying to figure out what is going on with the city, why everybody's being so scarce, why everybody appears to be, you know, running crazy, they soon discover that children are coming up missing and dying and being either murdered, tortured, or taken away from their homes. Now, there's a lot of town legends that are going on. People are saying, is it this pedophile that's running around? Is the pedophile the one that's killing these kids? Or is it the history of the witch that everybody seems to think is happening? Also, the film has a secondary name called a Gennaro. Gennaro also means witch. So people in the folklore of the town believe that this, it is the witch that is taking all these kids away that are being murdered in modern day. Literally being murdered in modern day. And at this point in time, there seems to be some disputes between the woman and her husband and the family that she's staying with are having their own issues when their son is actually attacked and attempted to be murdered by possibly the witch or the pedophile. He is cut up pretty badly and sliced and diced. They end up going to the hospital. So the family they're staying with resents him and says, you know what, get, get out of my house. You know, we gotta go be with our son. So plot thickens, they go to stay with her sister her sister also at that point knows of the witch, knows of the situation, tries to warn her about the witch. Meanwhile, she's still pregnant throughout this entire film and she's just like, I've got a kid on the way. I don't know what to do. Should I go away? Should I go home? Should I stay? She, she takes a little bit of a walk, runs into her aunt. Her aunt also happens to know the folklore about the witch, explain to her all the history of the witch and says, thank you for coming. You know, your grandfather a long, long time ago was actually containing this witch by taking photos of her. And when you would take photos of the witch, you would contain the witch. And he was actually helping keep the witch out of the town from people of what they thought was the original killer. So she learns of all this. Also along the way, she learns that people are putting salt out in front of the door. And the reason being is that the witch won't come in your house because she has to count the grains of the salt before she comes into your house. So salt is very scarce in this town. So everybody's going crazy and she runs into this priest who happens to be an old friend of hers and he's telling her, you know, look, you know, it's, it's not the witch. It's not the witch. There's not the pedophile. We know people are being hurt. We know kids are being murdered and being abducted. So he starts to blame the entire town, saying that it's the drunks, it's the prostitutes. So the whole town is going crazy, trying to figure out who's murdering these kids, who's taking these kids. You know, you got three fourths of the people that are saying it's the witch. You got the priest saying that it's that it's all the people in the town are making the witch go crazy, trying to kill the kids. And then you have other people saying it's the pedophile around town, because other people are starting to get killed, and as well as babies are being taken literally and cut out from the womb of pregnant women so it's 
It has all the elements of a great horror film. Is it a slasher? It has some elements of a slasher, so we're going to go with that. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with this one, but it does have English subtitles, so if it's not your thing, you may not like this. But generally, English subtitles are not my thing until I watch this. So rest assured, I'm going to be giving subtitles more of a try on my films when I watch them. As far as the acting, the acting was great in the film. I'm going to go over the positives and the negatives. I love the storyline. It was fun to watch. You know, um, I love the story. The acting was brilliant. The acting was fantastic. I thought some of the special effects could have done some work. The gore was great on it as well. The gore was good. Not a lot of blood, not a lot of gore if you're looking for that type of thing, but the negatives were there were some scenes with the main character, the, the woman that we're following, and her brother-in-law and sister, sister-in-law that I felt kind of been taken out, like, like her sister is actually having an affair with her, the woman that the main character's husband really had no reason for it shouldn't even been in there it took probably 10 minutes out of the film it really didn't need to be there so there's a bit of a pacing issue on the film but go check it out i know that it's kind of hard to find it is a wild eye release um just giving you a heads up some people don't like subtitles so somebody gave this movie a one out of ten because it had subtitles and i'm sure they didn't watch the fucking movie either but <laughs> if you watch it other people gave it like a 7 or 8 and 9. It does have like a 5.6 rating. I highly recommend this when it is a Wild Eye release. Go check out The Witch Behind the Door. The whole film takes place in Italy. It is an Italian film with English subtitles. This is Hobbs. Peace. began to rise and suddenly to my surprise he did the monster man it was a graveyard smash it caught on in a flash he did the monster man